this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. And it is that time of month again. Frockbox has arrived. And we will dig in and see what I got this month. I've done things a little differently. I'll hold that anyway. Done things a little differently this month. Last month was my very first time ever doing a try on, and it was kind of I was kind of winging it as I went along, but I learned a few lessons. And um, today, the way that I'm trying to do it is that I have already opened my frock box and I've done a try on, and um, now I'm at the point where I'm going to show the items to you, and I'll be able since I've already tried them on, I'll be able to speak a little bit more intelligently <laughs> about what there is and we can do a little bit of discussion about how I feel about it and then after you've seen the try on you can uh, give me your comments if you think something I didn't like looks great and if you think something I think looks great looks terrible then please tell me and let me know and we'll talk about it in the comments so anyways I'm really excited about what I got got kind of a neutral themed uh, bag this time uh, with blacks and whites mainly and and a jean jacket and I am so over the moon about the jean jacket because I have a jean jacket but I don't love it and I never loved it so I was in I was looking for a jean jacket and this is the one that arrived and it is really nice and it fits me really well it's um, kind of a short one but not too short uh, it's by Two Sable which I've never heard of, and it's a stretchy material. The only thing I don't like about it is it doesn't have pockets to put your hands in like that, but uh, that's not a reason not to get it. So I am 100% going to get this because I love it. I love the way it looks. I like how it's uh, distressed too. It's light on the top and then gets uh, darker down at the bottom, and this is definitely that's definitely a key brain. You can tell me what you think when you see it in the try-on. Now, the second thing was a little strange when I first got it. It wasn't, wasn't not, I didn't know what to think about it. This is a lace uh, overtop. Obviously, this is not something you would wear by itself. <laughs> you would wear it on top of something. But I do wear a lot of items like this. I am a layer uh I don't know if there's a name for us, but I am a layer wearer. -er. <laughs> I wear lots of layers. So it's very often that I will put something on top of something else. Now for me, when I see this, the immediate thing I think is, is to put a black tank underneath of it or a black, or camisole or something and that it would look really nice. But uh, as we come further along in the pile, there is something that this is just absolutely perfect for. So this is, this is nice, but was first a little bit strange. Then we come to the dress, and I think pretty much every month what I'm going to be getting is a dress, a skirt, two tops, and some kind of jackety type thing. So, next is the dress. Now, I love it. As soon as I saw it, I went, oh, I love that, and it's like perfect for the holidays because it is gold gold and black abstract type pattern and it is a kind of like fitted skirt that goes just above my e knees and when I tried it on I wasn't wearing any pantyhose so it doesn't look that great uh, but I would definitely wear pantyhose with this and um, the the front is is that the front or the back where am I going? With? Sorry, I have it backwards. I didn't think that was the, I didn't think that was the front. So the front has the pattern on it, and the back is just plain black. And then at the waistline, it has this band across here. Except it's not exactly at the waist. It's more an empire up under my bust, which I like a lot. And the only problem is, is when I tried this on, I thought, ooh, it's too tight. It fit. But it was body hugging and wasn't didn't feel that comfortable in it but I tried it on and I wore it around a little bit I really liked the way it looked on and then I went back and I put the lace I, the lace top camisole whatever you want to call it on top of the dress 
and it looked fantastic. Oh, here we are. It looked fantastic when I put it on top of it. So let me know what you think in the comments, whether that like really, really made the outfit. And also when I saw myself in it on camera, they say the camera adds 10 pounds, but when I saw myself on camera in this dress, it didn't look as bad as I thought it did. Like as in being big. Uh, I mean, me being big <laughs> and the dress being tight. But anyways, tell me what you think because I, it's the one iffy item here. Oh, and the other thing is, is and I usually don't, usually I don't buy dresses like this, but because the jewelry usually doesn't match me, but it comes with an attached necklace, which is really nice. So I like that too. It's kind of like a little added bonus. It's not attached to the dress, but it is to the label. Okay, now the next two items I really like, just not together. First of all, we have a black and white peplum top that uh, has a see-through um, decolletage area, and then the rest of it is in this mosaic pattern. And it's got a peplum on the bottom, which seems to suit me quite well. Um, the This is Jeanette Plus. The... Uh, the whole thing is the same pattern, but it fits, it fits on me nicely. Uh, I have no problems with this whatsoever. It's just that it doesn't go with the dress they sent me. Well, it does because it's black and white. And the skirt, sorry, not the dress, the skirt. The skirt is black and white. When you put these two together, ah, pattern clash. Yeah, but I love the skirt. I like really, really, really love the skirt. It is a um, long line one and then it flares out at the bottom. I believe that's called an A, right? An A-line skirt. It goes up this way and then it froze out. And when you twirl around, it does a little whoo around the bottom of your legs. So that fits me really good and I really like it. And uh, yeah, so I tried all the different uh, I tried all the pieces together in different variations and I put the jacket on with a couple of other things. Uh, with a couple of these things. When you watch my try on video, the only piece of my own clothing you'll see is that I put a camisole on underneath of the lace top to see what it would look like, how I was thinking that way. So everything else is me putting these items together. So I was working on what I would do because the dress I could, I would be happy with if I, if I just did not get that. The jacket I have to get. So my options are, or at least these are the options that I've told myself there are, is A, get nothing, which is not what I'm going to do because I want the, I want the jean jacket. So I could get the jean jacket. That means that it would be the total price minus the $24.95 monthly fee which would equal $39.05, which I am totally fine with in paying for this. So that is a given for sure. Now my other two options would be to get everything, because I like everything except for maybe the dress. And so I worked it out, if I got everything but not the dress, and then I subtracted my $24.95 a try-on fee, then it would come to 176 But if I got everything, subtracted my $24.95 service fee, try-on fee, and when you get everything, you subtract 25%, then it comes to 162 So that is 10 that's $14 cheaper to get everything than it is to send the dress back. So do I want to buy it all? Do I like the other stuff enough to go for that? Or should I just stick with the jacket at $39? I am really gearing towards everything. But um, let me know in the comments if you think I've made the right choice or what I should do, if you have an opinion. <laughs> if not, I may have already made one. <laughs> Okay, so thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time. And right here is the try-on for you to see. Bye-bye.